Um, a relationship of mine had broken up. I was meant to be engaged and I, oh, I broke that up and I just felt that my one goal now was to have money. I didn't need men anymore in my life. I was never going to find anyone that would make me happy and the only thing that could make me happy was money. I worked in an escort agency when I first started out but then I moved to a party because there was more money and it was quicker. And I did quite well. But I think, because I did it for about four years, three and a half years, and I think my last year and a half I was just unmotivated, I didn't care anymore. And you just hate the job, it's, it's not a nice job, it's not easy. You know, I'd get up in the morning and I'd you know, step across the hall into the kitchen, put the kettle on, knives would go on, I'd get stoned, I'd go to work. I'd make a coffee, I'd go to the staff meeting. I'd make another coffee, I'd go to the, go to the client meeting. I'd make another coffee, I'd go to the class that I was taking. Morning tea, I'd nip off, I'd get stoned, come back, make a coffee. You get the picture, you know. And that's where it kicked off for me, um, becoming a bartender. She got me a job in a uh, Chinchins on Key restaurant at the bottom of town and when I was about 19 and that's my bar career and I became a bartender and I really, I actually got driven by it and really loved it, but man, glitz and glamour becomes the powder and everything else and the drugs and the everything. Working in bars, you know, I had access to a till and I would just, I'd take money out of the till as soon as I got there and in my head I'd count how many, you know, I'd put one drink in, the, you know, put one drink in the till and another drink would go towards my the money that I'd taken and you know, I felt ill doing that. I I woke up in the morning and I thought, God, I'm going to have to steal more money today. Meth's the best job, a drug for that kind of a work environment because it keeps you up for a long time, a long time, and it numbs you out, um, and it makes you stop caring, and you don't care that you don't care, and you just build up the confidence to talk to people as well. So it's it's yeah. perfect. My life was work. I just worked and worked and worked. I worked seven days a week as well, and so I remember going to sign up deals with clients and I'd been nightclubbing all night. I'd um, just rushed home, had a quick shower. I was even going <laughs> and I remember one guy, he said, this is the fastest contract I've ever signed because I'd just be going, right, sign here. <laughs> I talk fast anyway, but it's amazing how fast I could talk. Drug habit and stable employment doesn't, doesn't quite work. You know? So I, I've hopped around, I've done a lot of different things. And it's kind of funny because, you know, a lot of the other places I've worked, except for maybe working for a church, most of the places I've worked, there has been your druggy subculture in there somewhere. I've done my, uh, my six month plan for now, but I have to set some new goals. I want to get a job again, just live in normal society. Not be so anti the system, which I have been for a while.